See, in the last class we discussed VB script operators in complete. First we discussed what are operators, next categories of operators, operator precedence, evaluation priority process. Next, first category, arithmetic operators. Arithmetic. Arithmetic operators. Uh, tell me what are the arithmetic operators available in VB script? It's a uh, backslash plus uh, star See, sign. Sequence required. Policy. Sequence. Um, backslash for division and then multiplication plus mm -hmm. minus. No, it's not the correct sequence. See, first one high priority operator <coughs> exponentation. Exponentation symbol to the power of cap symbol. Next, multiplication. See star symbol. Next, division. See forward slash. Next, <coughs> integer division. Integer division. Backward slash. See, it provides uh, integer point result. Next, addition. Next, subtraction. Next, concatenation, pure concatenation operator. So, I will show the example. Hmm. Tell me, before the example, what are the arithmetic operators available in Visual Basic Scripting Edition, VB Script? Um, first exponential exponentation multiplication, ah. uh -huh. multiplication black size division and then um, addition subtraction um, concatenation okay I forgot to one more thing also there before addition this is not symbol oriented operator text oriented modulus modulus operator mod text oriented operator see total 8 operators <coughs> see exponentation multiplication division integer division modulus addition subtraction and concatenation. These are the eight arithmetic operators available in VB script. Ah, see the example. See. Dem A comma B. Just a minute, I will increase the font. Dim A, B, C. A equal to 10. B equal to 3. C equal to A to the power of 
B. Uh, what is the C value? A to the power of B. 10 to the power of 3. 10 into 10 into 10. 1000. Next, <coughs> multiplication. Thirty. Next, division. Ten by three. See, it returns floating point value. Ten point three 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 like this. Next, integer division. Backward slash. It returns integer point value. Uh, what is the output? 10 by 3, integer point value only. Three. Next, A mod. A mod B. Uh, tell me what is A mod B? A is 10, B is 3. What is A mod B? Hello? Yes, sir. What is A, A mod 10, B? B is A is 10, B is 3. <laughs> 10 by 3, 3 into 3, 9. What is the remainder? Modulus operator, it returns the remainder. 10 by 3, 3 into 3, 9. What is the remainder? 1 by 3. 1. 1 by for example, 10 by 4, what is the remainder, 10 mod 4, 10 mod 4, what is the remainder? To the A2. 2. 10 mod 2, 10 mod 2. The 1 by 0. 0, good, see. Mod dealer's operator returns, remainder. Next, addition. 13. Next. Subtraction. 10 minus 3, 7. Next. Concatenation. Ampersand sign. What is the output? 10 concatenate 3. 103. One, 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 yes. Run the script. See, first 1000. 30, observe yellow marking. 3.333, like that. Next, 3. Modulus 1, next addition 13, subtraction 7, concatenation 103. Next, addition operator acts as concaten concatenation operator also. See plus operator suppose <coughs> if both the values are integers then it will add Next, one string, another integer, it adds. Next, both are strings, but inside numbers only, but both are strings. 
it concatenates suppose one is alpha type st string another is num another is number string only it concatenates hyderabad 1 2 3 next both are alpha see hyderabad abc it concatenates next one alpha type string another is integer suppose hyderabad second one 1 2 3 error it won't concatenate run the script see error na yes just a minute comment it run the script i and terminated a equal to hyderabad ah this is not terminated just a minute see first one both are stri uh, both are integers addition second one one string and one integer addition both are strings but inside numbers concatenation 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 last one error uh, one alpha weights another is integer error understand the plus operator any confusion yes sir no 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 confusion okay next pure concatenation operator just a minute operator see irrespective of the data type it concatenates irrespective of the data type it concatenates see change replace replace all <coughs> ah what is the first output irrespective of the data type it concatenates what is the first output 10 3 both are integers concatenation 103 103 third one also 103 hyderabad 1 2 3 hyderabad abc next last output also no error it will concatenate hyderabad yeah. 1 2 3 run the script see 103 103 103, 103 103 hyderabad 1 2 hyderabad abc hyderabad 1 2 see this is about arithmetic operators next comparison operators comparison comparison operators observe first we discuss the category wise priority operator precedence is there priority process is there first priority category arithmetic second priority comparison last priority logical operators see first category category wise priority next operator wise priority see first priority arithmetic operators but 
all arithmetic operators are not equal. First exponentation, next multiplication, next division like that. But all comparison operators having equal precedence. Getting this point? Find the difference between arithmetic operators and comparison operators. What is the difference? See arithmetic uh, arithmetic operators all are not equal na? Yes, yes. Uh, first priority exponentation, next multiplication like that. But comparison mm -hmm. operators, here no priority uh, process, all are equal. Okay. See. Equal to next not equal uh, not equal to diamond operator. Next, greater than, greater than or equal to, next, less than, less than or equal to. And one more thing, arithmetic operators written value based result. That's why first to priority. Just a minute. Arithmetic operators written value based result. For example, 10 plus 3, 13. 10 into 3, 30, 10 minus 3, 7, all 7, 30 and uh, 13, all these are values. Next, comparison operators written, Boolean result. See, comparison operators, comparison operators written, Boolean result or you can say, Logical result means true or false. True or false. See comparison operators written Boolean result. Got the point? Find the difference between arithmetic operators and comparison operators in case of result. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I will show the example for comparison operators. See, dim A, B, C. A equal to 10, B equal to 20. Next, C equal to A equal to B. Don't confuse. First it checks this one. A equal to B or not. And returns that value to and assigns that value to C. Here we use two equal to symbols. This first one assignment operator. Second one comparison operator. C equal to, first observe, A equal to B. Is it true or false? A equal to B? False. false. Then what is the output? False. C. It will return false, Boolean result. Next. Suppose C equal to A greater than B. A greater than B. Uh, suppose A greater than B. Observe this is true or false? False. False. A greater than B or not. A is 10, B is 20. 
ओके नेक्स्ट ये ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू फॉल्स नेक्स्ट ये नॉट इक्वल टू बी ट्रू आर फॉल्स यस ए इज डिफरेंट ए इज टेन बी इज ट्वेंटी ट्रू नेक्स्ट ये लेस देन बी ट्रू नेक्स्ट लास्ट वन ए लेस देन आर इक्वल टू बी आल्सो ट्रू सी फर्स्ट थ्री फॉल्स लास्ट थ्री ट्रू एज पर इनपुट सी फॉल्स 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 ट्रू 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 नेक्स्ट लाजिकल ऑपरेटर्स लाजिकल हियर इंपॉर्टेंट ऑपरेटर्स नॉट ऑपरेटर नॉट लाजिकल नेगेशन लाजिकल नेगेशन नेक्स्ट अंड ऑपरेटर लाजिकल कंजंक्शन नेक्स्ट आर ऑपरेटर नॉट के सेंसिटिव लाजिकल डिसजंक्शन नेक्स्ट एक्सओ आर ऑपरेटर सी डिफरेंट कैंड ऑफ ऑपरेटर इन अवर टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन दिस लास्ट ऑपरेटर लिमिटेड यूज आर नो यूज फर्स्ट थ्री वी यूज लाजिकल एक्सक्लूजन से सी वी यूज एंड आर ऑपरेटर्स फॉर forming compound conditions observe i will show examples first not operator logical negation just a minute ओके सिस्टम यूटिल डॉट रन नेक्स्ट पाथ ऑफ द एयूटी एंटर एजेंट नेम ए एंटर पासवर्ड क्लिक ओके बटन पुट बेस स्टेट एंड रन द स्क्रिप्ट सी लॉन्चिंग एंड लॉग इन नेक्स्ट login dialog box already exists on desktop it will confuse two instances of application say error ah uh, here i will write uh, error uh, error handling statements if not dialog of login dot 
exist suppose 3 seconds if you don't specify the time then it will take EFT tool default synchronization time 20 seconds here 2 or 3 seconds enough for checking object existence Oh. Observe this usage. If not so and so dialog, yes, if not login dialog exists, then launch then uh, and launch. continue login operation. Okay. One way condition, negative condition. One way condition, negative condition. If not exists, then launch and continue login operation. Opposite. If exists, if exists, don't launch. Bypass the condition and just continue login operation. If exists, just login operation. Don't launch again. If not exist, launch and login. See, observe. First scenario, login not exists. It will launch and continue. Checking the existence, launching and login. Next, second scenario, login dialog already exists. Run the script, it will continue. See, so just continue. Understand the not operation, logical negation? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, cool. Sir. Next, and operator logical conjunction uh, observe dem a b c a equal to 100 b equal to 50 c equal to 70 Condition, if A greater than B and A greater than C, see first expression A greater than B and second expression A greater than C, then MSG box uh, display A is a big number A is a big number uh, else A is not a big number MSG box A is not a big number uh, observe the input and uh, tell me what is the expected output observe the input a is a big, a number. Is a big number run the script a is a big number next <coughs> a hundred b fifty c seven hundred uh, observe the output, observe the input and uh, what is the expected output? A is not a big number. Good. A is not a big number. Hmm, just a minute, I will explain the result criteria. Result criteria. See, you can use same example for R operator also. Result criteria only varies. A result criteria. Result criteria for and operator and operator 
Uh, see, first, A expression 1, suppose A greater than B, that is expression 1. Next, A greater than C, that is expression 2. Expression 1, expression 2, result. Uh, for example, expression 1, one is true. Next one also true. Uh, output true. Next true false. Uh, true false. What is the output? Next, false true. False. Next, false false. False. Next, observe. Tell me the result criteria for AND operator. AND. Uh, R operator. This time R operator. Tell me the result criteria for R operator. Mm, true, 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 true. One is true, one is good, uh, true or true. True, false. Uh, that will be true. True, good. Next, false, true. Or means true. True. False, false. False, false means false. false only. Next, result criteria for XOR operator. Logical exclusion. Say it is different kind of operator. If both are, if both are true, result false. If both are false, result false. If any one expression is true, then result will be true. Anyone, either this or that, not both. Uh, tell me, true, true. If any one is true, true. Any one is true, then true. Otherwise, false. Uh, true, true. True, true, true. False. Any one, false. not both. True, false. True. True. False true. True. False false. False only. False. False only. If any one. Try to understand the X for operator. If any one expression is true, then result will be true. If both are true or both are false, false. See, this is about to VB script operators. Next, as per our roadmap, next, conditional statements. See, VB script flow control, VB script flow control statements. See, under flow control, we have two types of statements. One is, conditional statements another is one is conditional statements another is for loop? loop statements for loop or loop? while when whatever it might be loop statements see this is the root first I am taking conditional statements VB script conditional statements. See, we have uh, two types of statements. There are two types. Two types of statements in VB script. One is if statement 
another is select case select case statement see in c language also if statement switch case here select case two types next what is the purpose of conditional statements in uft test automation see usage of conditional statements usage of conditional statements in aft see two important advantages first one to insert verification points to insert verification points next for error handling error handling see first point two types of statements next point usage of conditional statements in uft next types of conditions types of conditions see one is a single condition single condition next compound condition compound condition or multi condition next nested condition nested condition see in single condition you can write positive and negative conditions positive condition or negative condition suppose if a greater than b if a just a minute i will show see example if a greater than b then do something this is single condition single condition and a uh, positive condition next negative condition if if a is not if not a equal to b suppose ah uh, just a minute if a equal to b this is single condition positive condition if not a equal to b then negative condition see otherwise you can write like this or if a not equal to b getting positive and negative conditions this is positive condition next to these two negative conditions see <coughs> compound condition 
example if a greater than b and a greater than c then do something next nested condition if a greater than b then again condition if a greater than c then again condition you can write a number of conditions more than one if a greater than d then do something okay now next before going to uh, before going to discuss practical tell me three topics three concepts first types of conditional statements two two conditional statements what are they loop and mm -hmm. conditional statement loop statement observe the question types of statements types of conditional statements types of conditional statements forget about loops positive, positive mm -hmm. and negative that is types of conditions don't confuse say first point types of conditional statements if statement select a case statement second point usage of conditional statements in uft ah usage types of conditions single condition mm -hmm. compound condition and nested condition understand the requirement what is my question tell me first types of types usage of conditional statements in uft uh, to insert verification points hmm. for error handling Good. observe three points first point types of conditional statements one is if statement second is select a case statement next second point type a uh, usage of conditional statements in uft one is uh, to insert uh, verification points another is error handling next third point types of conditions single condition compound condition nested condition any confusion Sir. No okay. See types of conditional statements, usage of conditional statements. Next types of conditions. Next fourth one. Usage. Usage of. conditional statements general usage see don't confuse second point usage of conditional statements in eft but vb script not only for eft it is for all types of scripting example client side scripting in the web server side scripting in the web network administration system administration and test automation see the second point is usage of conditional statements in eft this fourth point is general usage of conditional statements uh, here first usage execute a statement when condition is true execute a statement when condition is true another name of this structure simple if see in this structure 
no else part no otherwise concept next no end if single line syntax no else part to no end if syntax syntax if condition then statement if condition then statement see example dem a comma ah dem my date my date is just variable my date equal to my date equal to ten slash ten slash two zero one four next right condition if my date less than date this date is built in function of vb script it returns current system date my date less than date then my date equal to date not case sensitive see and if not required see observe if my date less than today's date this is condition next this is statement assignment statement uh, observe condition is true or false condition is true or true. false it's true condition is true yes my date is less than uh, uh, today's date only next what will happen it returns uh, current date to my date now today's date ah uh, next try yes, to display that one msg box my date it is single line syntax only this msg box statement not belongs to condition it is another statement it is optional now tell me what is the output it will display today's system yes. date now yes today's date run the script see 3172015 see condition is true next condition false observe suppose 2016 now observe condition is true or false condition is true or false 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 then what will happen false it won't execute that statement na it will then my date as it is na 10102016 only na yes ah what is the output 10102016 good See ten ten two zero one six. See this is about a simple if structure. Execute a statement when condition is true. One way condition, single line syntax. Next second usage. Execute a block of statements. <coughs> Here black not mandatory. One or more. Execute a one or more statements. Execute a block of statements when condition is true. 
condition is true. Uh, in this structure also no else part. One way condition. But only difference is first, stru first structure only for single line syntax single statement second structure for multiple statements see syntax if condition then statements one or more next e and if e example see dem a comma b a equal to 100, B equal to 50, if A greater than B, then MSG box A is a big number else uh, no else part one way condition ah uh, now tell me what is the output observe the input a equal to 100 b equal to 50 what is the output a is the big number a is the big number a is a big number, a, a is a big number. Next, A equal to 100, B equal to 500. Uh, then, what is the output? First, observe condition is true or not. Condition is not true. Condition is not true. Then, what is the output? Nothing. 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 Condition is true. See, one way condition. Na. If condition is yeah. false, nothing. See, bypass the condition. Bypass the condition. bypass the condition next third usage execute a block of statements when condition is true otherwise execute another block of statements see any one black execution black of statements execution is mandatory execute a just a minute Execute a block of statements when condition is true, otherwise execute another block of statements. statements first syntax ah guess the syntax guess you have to explain the syntax ah. if a, a equals ah. if condition a equal a or b or z condition if condition ah then Statements else uh, else not statement statements one or more e and if see 
ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎల్స్ ఎంఎస్జి బాక్స్ బి ఇజ్ ఏ బిగ్ నంబర్ అబ్జర్వ్ యాజ్ పర్ ఇన్పుట్ వాట్ వాట్ విల్ బి ద అవుట్పుట్ ఏ హండ్రెడ్ బి ఫిఫ్టీ ఏ ఈజ్ ఏ బిగ్ నంబర్ సిఏ ఈజ్ ఏ బిగ్ నంబర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఏ హండ్రెడ్ బి ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ అది ద అవుట్పుట్ బి ఈజ్ ఏ బిగ్ నంబర్ బి ఈజ్ ఏ బిగ్ నంబర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఏ హండ్రెడ్ బి హండ్రెడ్ బోత్ ఆర్ సేమ్ దెన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద అవుట్పుట్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఏదర్ ఫస్ట్ పార్ట్ ఆర్ ఎల్స్ పార్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ మ్యాండేటరీ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఎనీ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్లాక్స్ ఏదర్ ఫస్ట్ పార్ట్ ఈజ్ ఏ ఏజ్ ఏ బిగ్ నెంబర్ హౌ కెన్ యూ సే బోత్ ఆర్ సేమ్ నా ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ చెక్ ద కండిషన్ కండిషన్ ఈస్ ట్రూ ఆర్ ఫాల్స్ కండిషన్ ఈస్ ఫాల్స్ నా then blindly it goes to else part blindly see if condition is false blindly it goes to else part else part is correct or not that is secondary run the script what it is showing b is a big number b is a big number see that uh, if condition is false blindly it goes to ఎల్ స్పాట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఐ విల్ షో అనదర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫర్ ది సేమ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ టు సి ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వి ఇనిషియలైజ్ దట్ వేరియబుల్స్ ఏ ఈక్వల్ టు హండ్రెడ్ బి ఈక్వల్ టు ఫిఫ్టీ లైక్ this time read say dem a b read read data using input devices a equal to input box of say this input box also built in function of vb script as like the msg box input box for reading input msg box for displaying output uh, enter any meaningful message enter uh, suppose uh, enter a value next b equal to input box enter b value next write the condition if a greater than b then msg box output a is a big number els b is a big number observe after reading input only we can decide output run the script observe a 100 b 50 
Ah, now expect the output A hundred B fifty. A is a big a number. A is a big number. What it is showing? Hmm? B is, B a, big is a big number. Why? Say data conversion problem. If you initialize the variables, no data conversion required. If you read data, uh, <coughs> remember the data types chapter. If you read data, then VB script considers the data as string type data. We need to convert the data in order to perform mathematical calculations, isn't it? Ah, uh, here convert the data. Yes. Conversion required. See, C int of A directly convert and compare. Convert and compare. C int of A. Next, C int of B. Next, read. A value. 100 B value 50 expected output A is a big number so it is showing correct output A is a big number next A is 50 B is 100 Expected output B is a big number. C it is showing correct output B is a big number. Next, run the script. A is hundred. B is a, B also hundred. Then what is the expected output? B is a big B, number. Uh, say condition false na blindly. It goes to L spot. B is a big number. L spot. C. Next, one more example for the same structure. Example 3. See, observe this uh, example. We are reading the data and converting converting the data. Why? Reading time VB script considers data as string type data. In order to perform mathematical calculations, we need to convert the data. See, reading and converting, then comparing, it is showing correct output. When? If we enter valid inputs. What about invalid inputs see it has to prevent invalid inputs observe a1 b2 it is showing correct output see why i used valid input next a a b c b x y z Invalid input. See it is showing error. Type mismatch. Error is there na? Runtime error. Ah, here, yes. ah, here uh, how to handle that one. Here I am going to introduce one more built-in function. One more built-in function. E is in numeric. It checks whether the value is numeric or not. Actually, that is uh, that structure is not uh, coming to this uh, third usage. Nested if, just for understanding. If e is in numeric, e is in numeric function returns boolean result of a equal to true, true optional, and E is numeric of B equal to true. <coughs> Observe. Uh, 
see observe first condition what we are checking if a is, is numeric of a equal to true and is numeric b equal to true means if both the values are numeric then convert and compare if not numeric bypass the second condition getting any confusion say if both are numeric values then convert and compare otherwise bypass the second condition just display invalid input observe a is 100 b is 50 expected output a is a big number a is a big number next A hundred B two hundred expected output B is a big number next A A B C B A X Y Z uh, here not numeric invalid input it will show invalid input see invalid input understand the concept in this example we used conversion data conversion and error handling any confusion no confusion okay cool she will meet tomorrow Again, three usages are there. Observe, here total six uh, types of usage of conditional statements. First, we discussed uh, execute a statement when condition is true, simple if structure. Second one, execute a block of statements when condition is true. Next, third one, execute a block of statements when condition is true. Otherwise, execute another block of statements next just I will list out fourth one decide among several alternates see in, in this in the third structure previous example only two alternates either first part or else part but in this fourth structure several alternates you can choose any one based on condition another name of the structure else if structure else if else if structure next usage Tomorrow I will show practical. Execute a block of statements when more than one condition is true. Execute a block of statements when more than one condition is true. Another name of the structure, nested if structure. Next last one, decide among several alternates. Earlier, earlier we used the else if, next using select case structure. See decide among several alternates using select case structure 
ओके